Good afternoon, I'm Dan Cummings. There's breaking news this noon. Anthony Saccone of Camillus, the man who drove drunk and caused a crash that killed three OCC students in February, was back in court this morning pleading guilty to manslaughter, driving while impaired, and leaving the scene of a serious crash. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is live at the Onondaga court Courthouse this morning. So, Andrew, what happened in court this morning? Well, Dan, what's most notable is what Saccone did not agree to, did not plead guilty to, and that's murder, as he was an originally charged and as he would have faced in a trial. And that's because the district attorney admits those charges are hard to prove before a jury and would be appealable in higher courts. So to get this over with, on behalf of the families, the DA agreed to the top count of aggravated vehicular homicide for Saccone's drunk driving death of three OCC students. Now, Saccone did not apologize to the victim's families in court, but only spoke when he challenged the language used in the plea agreement. The judge ordered that he and his attorney figure it out because plea agreements have to be made without hesitation. This drama playing out as the district attorney and the victim's families watched and waited. Mr. Chacon uh, learned uh, from Judge Doran's uh, demeanor that he was not in charge. It was not his show uh, like it was back in February. It needs to be unequivocal. No question. Yeah, that, and, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't know if you saw me, I was literally on my way out of my seat to uh, withdraw it, but Judge Doran took charge. And, Saccone will be sentenced in October, but he'll be back in court before that. He'll be back in court in August for the charges he faces after being arrested again this past weekend for reckless driving. Anthony Saccone getting a lot of attention throughout this entire case, but the community wants to remember the victim's families. Of course, they're the ones suffering the most. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders is with me in the courthouse. Jennifer, how do the families of the victims feel about what happened in court today? Well, plain and simple, Andrew, they don't feel like justice was served. Obviously, you saw that they're very hurt. A lot of tears, a lot of emotion. They don't feel like justice was served, but they do feel like what happened today really gives them a strong, strong sense of closure. We'll show you some courtroom video now. You can see the family very visibly shaken there in the courtroom as Saccone went back and forth with his attorney, as Andrew referenced earlier, before entering a guilty plea on the counts presented in court. Now, the family feels like Saccone has not shown any remorse since the crash happened on February 23rd. We did speak with Michael Walker's family, who is now looking to propose some changes to laws and punishment related to drunk driving crashes. They still say, though, nothing at all can ease that pain of losing three family members. He took three valuable people from us. We will never know what they would have grew up to become. We just know that where they was at at this point, they was headed to do great things in life, and now we'll never know, and that hurts the worst. And Andrew, obviously, you know, this is not over. They have October 19th, and that's when the sentencing will be. So the family, of course, not looking forward to that, but they are looking forward to a bigger sense of closure in this case. Well, and one reason they're so upset is really 10 years in prison doesn't seem enough for what they've gone through. And the district attorney told us these families will really have to wait until 2028 when they'll need to then go before uh, a parole board mm -hmm. in order to make their case that Anthony Saccone should stay in prison for the maximum of 30 years. Definitely. And in speaking to the family, they will be there. They will be there as well as people from the community who have really supported them through this whole trial, this whole case and the hearing that have come from this. So they'll be there and they'll be pushing that he doesn't get out of prison. Jennifer and I will have more coverage coming up on News Channel 9, first at 4 and then throughout the rest of the night. For Dan, now back to you. All right, Andrew, Jennifer, thank you again. A minimum of 10, a maximum of 30 for Anthony Saccone after his guilty pleas this morning in Onondaga County Court.